Hi guys. So today I want to um, review with you this diagram that you can see on your screen. This is an image of the hepatic portal system and this is actually from your lab book. Um, and I know you didn't have to label anything on this diagram, but this is probably one of the trickier things that you need to know from this section. So I would definitely um, kind of listen to this, go through, circle the terms, take a few notes here and there so you make sure to study this. Okay, so I'm going to explain to you what this diagram is showing us and how it works and the significance of it. So as you can see, we've got a lot of veins on this diagram and some digestive organs plus the spleen over there. And um, this is a special system of circulation called a portal system. A portal system is when we have two capillary beds in a row, which you'll see through this explanation how we get our two capillary beds um, in this system. So let's just start by looking at what veins we have. So we've got the inferior vena cava. I highlighted some of them in yellow that you need to memorize. So we've got the IVC, the hepatic veins, there's actually two of them up there, and then the hepatic portal vein that you can see on the inferior side of the liver. And then we've got the superior mesenteric vein that drains blood from the proximal part of the large intestine. We've got the inferior mesenteric vein that drains blood from the distal part of the large intestine. Oh, and the superior mesenteric mesenteric vein also drains blood from the small intestine, I should say, as well, so make sure you know that. And then the splenic vein draining blood from the spleen and gastric vein, which I added, make sure you add this in your book, the gastric vein, draw it in there with a little arrow, that drains blood from the stomach. Okay, so I added the arrows on this diagram also to show you where the blood is actually going so that you can see the path of flow. So we can see that in all of these organs, we would have capillary beds where um, oxygen is being exchanged, carbon dioxide is being exchanged with the tissues there. And also in these particular organs, some of them, since they're digestive organs, they have a lot of nutrients that are being taken up into the capillaries. And the spleen is going to have potentially pathogenic cells in there, um, dead red blood cells, kind of like the contents of dead cells that um, are being destroyed in the spleen. So those cell contents, all of those potentially harmful substances coming from the spleen are going into the capillaries there. And so this blood from the spleen carrying potentially harmful substances and the blood coming from the digestive tract, the stomach, the small intestine and the large intestine is traveling back through these veins now. And so we've got this nutrient rich blood and blood that's potentially pathogenic. So we don't want this blood to go back into our general circulation right away because there could be harmful things in there and we've also got a ton of nutrients that our cells just don't need that high of a quantity of nutrients right now. So what we want to do instead is we want to take this blood from these organs through these veins, so here through the splenic vein, through the gastric vein, through the mesenteric veins, and we're going to collect all of it in one spot. We're going to collect it in this hepatic portal vein. And this vein is going to take us into the liver, where we have our second capillary bed, giving us our portal system. Once this blood is in the liver, in the second capillary bed, we've got cells in there that will take the nutrients out of the blood and store them. We've also got cells in there that can modify the contents of the blood. We've got cells in there that can remove pathogens from the blood. We've got cells in there that um, basically are purifying this blood so that it's ready to go back into our general circulation. So once that blood travels through the sinusoids of the liver, travels through the capillaries of the liver, it's then going to come out on the posterior side of the liver, if you can see back there, the hepatic vein. And there's actually two of them. And so this blood will drain out from the liver through those hepatic veins into the IVC now. So this is kind of different than some of our other um, venous systems. Like from the kidneys, blood goes directly from the kidneys back into the IVC, but not with these organs. All the blood from these organs is going to go first to the hepatic portal vein, then to the liver to be cleansed, and then into the IVC, then back into the general circulation. So I hope this makes sense. 
Let me know if you guys have any questions. You can see the terms listed on the top of your paper that you need to know. Um, but please, please, please make sure you memorize the gastric vein. I know it's not labeled on this diagram, so as far as I saw, anyways. So, yeah, so that's it for this section, and um, I will see you guys for the next one.